Can't do it in undercover, huh? Huh? Can't do it undercover, huh? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well. Can't do it undercover. Can't. Simply cannot. We have a uh, dry moment. Okay. And what are you up to? What am I up to? Yeah. <laughs> Five ten. <laughs> Depending right. on the shoes I'm wearing. Um, what am I up to? Well, I'm going to uh, finish changing that topping lift. So that means attaching the new line or the new rope, soon to become a line, um, fr fresh off the spool, to the existing uh, topping lift. The bitter end of the existing topping lift. Excellent. And then I'm going to have to lower the boom. Lower the boom. Lower the boom. Oh, no. and That sounds so dire. And replace and replace the old <laughs> topping. Lift. All right. Well, when you need my help, jump on the deck. Okay. And uh, in the meantime, I'll be uh, in here getting things cleaned and organized. Not three times on the ceiling. Ready for the departure. When do you want me? Okay. <laughs> Well, it's going along. This is the last piece of uh, running rigging that needs to be replaced. This is the um, the top, the main topping lift, and uh, I've decided to replace it with uh, three-strand polyester rope, which I have a spool of here. I was going to say mostly because we have a whole spool. Because of it. I have a whole spool <laughs> of it, and it's perfectly the perfectly fine thing to use for that. It's a little bit um, a little bit springy because it's three-strand. It's, it's going to stretch just a little bit, but that doesn't matter in that application. I wouldn't want to use this for halyards unless you had nothing else. Um, I don't know if there's a right way and a wrong way to cut rope, but this is the way I was taught. Oh, and special mention, we just heard Brian Toss passed away. Brian Toss, away. yes. I didn't learn this from Brian Toss, but Brian Toss passed away on June 6th. Yeah. Um, what a loss. I, what a, what a great loss to the sailing world. Uh, if you don't know who Brian Toss, B-R-I-O-N, Toss, T-O-S-S, look him up. Uh, he wrote several books on rigging. Uh, I was privileged to meet him several times, share a beer, a lunch one time, and uh, have him pass by and nod approvingly at Leia <laughs> in Friday Harbor. Um, and he, we ran into each other at boat shows and what have you. And yeah, we've, we've had spoken with him several times. Friends in Honolulu. He's worked on friends' boats in Honolulu and, uh, and in uh, Falls Friday of Clyde. Huh? Falls of Clyde. I, he downrigged Falls of Clyde. We were married aboard Falls of Clyde. So, yeah, so... Uh, we kept intersecting paths. It was our interesting. our paths keep crossing or kept crossing for years. It's uh, that's sad to say. Uh, one of, probably one of the greats of the sailing world. Yeah. Has left us. That's unfortunate. Did you mention that? So, <laughs> back to cutting line. Oh yeah, the right way and the wrong way. Is I don't know if there is a right way, but I, this this way yields the best results for me. As you can see, I've already put on a palm and needle whipping, uh, uh, two of them, and they're spaced uh, approximately the uh, the diameter of the rope apart, which is to say three eighths of an inch. It's, it's more like a half, maybe a little longer. Maybe even more than a half. But anyway, they're a little ways apart. And so here's the seaman-like way to cut rope. Like that. Nice neat that cut. you're not sawing back and forth. Not, and... Well, you wouldn't saw back and forth with this knife yeah. anyway. It's a nice sharp knife. And we have two nice neat ends. The end on the spool is ready to go for its next use. Possibly new lifelines. And <laughs> not the white. I don't want the white. Well. <laughs> oh, hey, why don't you explain what I'm looking for and if anybody knows where we can find some or has a spool of it laying around in their garage that they would just love to get rid of. We're looking for three strand. Hard laid black three strand polyester. And I don't know why three it's eighths so hard of an to inch find. Or 10 millimeter in diameter and it as near as I can tell, it doesn't exist. You can get braid. We've got braid. I have braid. For some reason, Laura doesn't want to use nope. the braid. <laughs> She's got that three-strand. I've got three-strand. 
For white, some reason, Laura no, doesn't want I to don't use a three, three strand. strand white because it'll just get it's got to be black. Fast. But these have come to the end of their safe and useful life. Yeah. So. And these are hard laid black polyester. So if you have a spool of it just lying around in your garage, you're dying to get rid of it. Let us know. And just <laughs> there's poly. There's there's nylon a plenty. It's easy to get nylon that looks just like this but nylon stretches too much to use for lifelines so polyester is what I want for this application that's why I have this all right so do you need a hand uh... Uh, with the next part no because I, I have to marry these two together <laughs> in holy matrimony <laughs> So for they shall never minutes, part. Actually, <laughs> for just long apart, enough. Before we divorce them again. <laughs> but I have to do that. Uh, uh, before I do, oh, you know what? We have a new patron on Patreon, and I want to welcome Steve Chapel. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Steve and I go way back. Or at least we knew How each other far way back, Chuck? back. We were in high school together. Wow. We were both in the, in the high school band. Steve played uh, a sousaphone, which is not exactly a tuba, but I, I think he played tuba also. And uh, Steve was he was like the Fonz. He had a motorcycle. He was one of the, the coolest guys because he, he wore his hair like Elvis and he had a motorcycle. <laughs> and, you know, and I was a band nerd. So <laughs> anyway, welcome Steve. Uh, Steve is now one of our top level patrons and um, I'm really glad to have him on board. So he's the guy you'll see him walking around with the coffee cup because he's a smart guy and he knows which job is the important one. <laughs> Tom knows about that too, don't you Tom? He's one of those guys too. So if you ever see, see someone walking around with a coffee cup, it's either Tom or it's uh, <laughs> or Steve. Get back to work, Chuck. Okay, yeah. some tape. tape. Blue tape? Yep. Alright, I'll go get the blue tape. Be right back. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright. Oh, I failed to record the dramatic moment when the boom lowered. Well, it could have been scary. It could have been scary. It dropped all of 12 inches. Yeah, that's tied on there so it won't go get lost. I can see. But you can take it off. Just whip your knife out and cut it off. What kind of sailor are you? You don't have a knife on you. You call yourself a sailor. <laughs> oh, you got it? <laughs> there we go. We're good. <laughs> All right. You got enough knife to cut that string? <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Oh, Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm standing on it, that's why. Ah! <laughs> Where? Yeah. Uh, it was dry enough that Chuck thought he could sneak out and get this done. And he pulled out like, what, two screws? Yep. No, I, I got six screws out and screwed in, but I got it. <laughs> so, let's cover that up. He was hoping to have a little bit of light to be able to see and put those in. But oh well. So we're getting ready to go. 
finally at last. We, we'd get, we'd be ready if it weren't for the rain. <laughs> well, that is one thing about Alaska that they always say, if you can't get anything done in the rain, you'll you can't, never you get, can't get anything done. If you can't get it done, done in the rain, you can't get it done. <laughs> so, um, I booked off work early this afternoon. Well, earlier, not early, but earlier. And uh, got the last minute stuff for the Halley prep done. And trusting in Maggie to finish that stuff off. I already took a truckload of stuff to, from the boat to the storage line. Yeah, and we'll probably end up taking one more. I think we've decided against taking the bicycles. You've decided against it. <laughs> okay, well, we've decided against taking the bicycles. Uh, are we? Ah. Certainly solves the problem of how to carry them. I just don't want to put them on the stern as all. Well. If we're going to bring them in, just bring them in and put them on the bed like we used to. No, I can't do that. Why? <laughs> well, anyway, we'll figure it out. You're getting rained on. Yeah. So, Tuck's just going to finish screwing those hatches down before we uh, depart. Yeah, well, this is. And did you ever find the hardware there, darling? Nope. Nope. We found the hardware, not yet. It'll turn up. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know where it could have gotten You know, those to. real specialty Vega <laughs> bits of hardware. Well, it's the original, um, the original, the hooks that go on the bottom of the, go right here. And I latch into this piece here. They're kind of specialty items. Yeah. The original to the boat, so... Yeah. And my new hatches that I just had made are relieved for that and for these hinges yeah. to make the same way. Yeah. Oh, so well. they'll turn up. We know they were here at one point. They'll yep. turn up. They're in a special spot. I know it. You know it. <laughs> just a matter of where. All right. Well, I'll let you uh, get finished real quick so you can get out of the rain, and I'm gonna finish yep. cleaning up in here. All right. Okay. I got some tea on. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so now what's become the mantra of every YouTuber just about is please like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and do leave a comment because we love interacting with our subscribers and people who aren't subscribers yet. <laughs>